Hey everyone, it's Joe Tompkins for Lendesk and Finmo. Today we're talking about our REST API at the team level. For those of you that want to connect your CRM or other system to Finmo, you can do it through our REST API. Uh, let me show you how to do some testing on it. I'm going to go ahead and jump into Finmo. I'm going to go right into my team settings, to integrations, and I'm going to go down to my Finmo API. In the Finmo API, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the API documentation, and that's going to take me into the area where I can then jump into the API reference. And this is where we're going to do our testing. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do is we need to generate a token. So we're gonna generate an API token and I'm gonna copy this alphabet soup. There we go. And I'm gonna jump back here to create an application. So now what I want to do is make sure I'm using the right test environment. So I'm gonna use my production account. I have a demo account. You can see I've done some testing before. I'm going to put in my new token. A few other things now we need to do. Scrolling down, you're going to see you need the team ID. So I'm going to jump back to Finmo, and the team ID is right here. Choose that. Now I'm going to put the team ID in here. If you're to do a test now, you're going to get an error message. So what you need to do is scroll down because my test that I'm doing right now is I am creating and filling an application. So I want to make some other tests in here. So scrolling down, you'll see what the goal is. So you can adjust the goal of what the client's doing. But then there's also the applicant object information. If you expand this, you'll see we need a first name. So let's go and put a Roger. and an email. And a phone number, because you can, of course, send a text message when you're inviting a borrower in. Now you could just be doing a, creating an application, whatever you want. You have the client reference number. Now, if you wanted to reference a previous client, you can, of course, pull that information into your system and reference it if you want to create a new one. That's okay, you don't need to. Now, send an invite. Do you want to send an invite when you test this? Sure. Do you want to send a text message? Yes or no, I'm gonna go with no. And notes, here's the note and say, hello, Roger, please click on the link. And that's it. it Let you know what your error codes are. So now I have everything in here and I'm gonna test it. And I've got another positive test. Let's go ahead and check it out in Finmo. I'm going to go to my deal screen. And there's Roger Donut. We can see what happened here. I've tested it three times. And in each of these tests, there has not been an assigned agent on the deal. You can do that in the test environment as well. To simply do that, all you need to do is deal agent ID. In order to have it created with the proper deal agent ID here, Really simple, all you need to do is go back to your Finmo account, go to your team settings, go to your team members, choose the team member that you want it to be assigned to, and then you see right at the top, here's this little code here, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to the test environment and I'm gonna put that deal agent ID in here. There it is. So now what I want to do is I just want to change up this email address to make sure that I'm not not creating another application with the same information. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I should get another test come through. There it is, 902. It's a good test. If I go back to Finmo, back to my deal screen. Now I've got my new client invited in and it's been assigned an agent on the deal. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good luck setting up your API. Talk soon.